seems to have stayed here for a long time. Why here? Is there anything special about this place? I'm not sure. But on closer examination, I sense that the aura may have lingered here at several different points in time. <laughs> Show yourself! It's no use hiding anymore! Hmm. Haide Harakazma. It's you, at last. Aha! So it is the same guy from before! What's your problem, huh? What could you possibly have against Kazuma? This still doesn't answer the fact, is this a separate issue with us? Or is this also tied, connected with the two other people who are missing? Indeed, there should be no enmity between us. If it is Amenome Yuya that stands before us. But what if instead of facing Amenome Yuya, we are in fact facing the blade in his hand? Now that you mention it, it is giving off a strange light. Whoa, whoa! Surely you don't mean... Are you serious? Tatarigami energy often lodges itself within physical objects, and then works to subtly affect any living organisms in its vicinity. The blade has resided in Mr. Nagato's warehouse for many years, affecting his state of mind, and more recently using the sail as a means to affect, or rather as a means to occupy, Amenomayuya's body. Hmm. You're sharper than I thought. You've already deduced the truth of the matter. Many, many years ago, I was forged by a famed bladesmith of the Ishin tradition. I was his pride and joy. In me, he placed all his hopes and dreams. Off topic, um, this blade is shiny as F. As a descendant of the Kaidahara clan, you should be able to guess our greatest regret. I presume it has something to do with the Raiden Gokaden. Indeed. At that point in time, he failed to live up to the Raiden Shogun's expectations. In the end, all he could do was to flee the nation by sea on a ship bound for Snezhnaya. He was a bladesmith of great renown, a master of his craft. There was nothing that he could not accomplish. All he needed was more time and a little faith. And sure enough, in the end, he achieved what he had set out to do. All of his life's work, his wisdom, his skill, it culminated in his creation of me. He not only bestowed upon me the greatest of strength, but also endowed me with a consciousness of my own. In her conceit, the Raiden Shogun lost not only the single most perfect blade in the entire world, but also an irreplaceable achievement in the art of blade forging. So... swords can become conscious and control people? The people of the time in which I was born never believed I had that kind of power. They saw me as a mere blade, a sharp and well-crafted one, but in all other respects an ordinary weapon. But that gave me the opportunity to take action. After the death of my creator, I decided to leave Snechnaya and began my long quest to return to the distant land of Inazuma. Moving from one person to the next, I controlled the minds of countless hosts along the way, each bringing me one step closer to my ancestral home. Are you also going to get closer to the point of why you're here? I'm sorry to be rude, but it's just like, get to the point, bro. Why are you here? I seek but one thing. To face the full force of the Raiden Shogun's blade and prove my power of the might of Isin art! Ah, so Amenome Yuya was not your first victim. 
Tell me, what happened to those you've possessed when you've finished using them? My hosts? Who cares what happens to them? They are but tools that served my mission. When they got tired, or injured, or unusable, I hopped to the next one in line. All I needed them for was to take me back to Inazuma. You're awful! After I returned to Inazuma, I decided to bide my time in Nagato's warehouse until Amenoma Yuya handed himself over to me on a silver platter. So... This is why Kujo... I don't know if they're like the actual security forces for Kujasaru in her commission, but it's like... You doing all of this? Now I can see why she doesn't know. Because you're doing it, well, of course, behind the scenes. But then again, she doesn't notice that two. Was he a guard? And does she not realize two people are missing? Still. At long last, I'm approaching my journey's destination. By Amenoma Yuya's body, I have found you. And by your hand, I shall defeat the Raiden Shogun. Kaede Harakazuha, you stood against the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. There can be no other to serve as my host for what is to come. That's that's great and all, but you can't fight the Raiden, Sh Raiden Shogun. She's she's too powerful. Have you seen Iozuma? I don't. Now, give your body over to me! Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Did they just have me test run Kaizawa? My Kaizawa is Pog. I don't want to fight right now. I want to see his stats. I have more EM than this. Okay, C3 Fog. Do you want to explain the weapon, Hoyaverse? Why y'all got my boy out here with a three-star weapon? Like Freedom Sword ain't available. Do not stand in my way, or I will strike you down too. Bruh, you, you soft. You, you are soft. You soft as a, oh my gosh, I can't get the commentary right. You are soft as a baby's pant. Yeah, you are soft as a baby's diaper. I can't really say what I want because of you two, but y'all still dig Hoswell dirty with that three-star weapon. I'm not, I'm not finna get over that. Yeah, it was nice to test out C3 Cosmo, but I'm so salty over the weapon. Your club's fooling no one! You've lost! Lost? I can never lose. It is this body that has reached its limit. Nothing more! Yeah, I'm, 
I'm gonna interrupt his scene because he's not saying nothing important. And like a new four star weapon wasn't available, we gotta put it on him with all that attack. Even if you defeat me here, the one who falls will not be me, but this man. He is but a puppet that can be replaced. I can take a new vessel at will. Man trying to fight me in flip-flops. Flip-flops. All I had to do was step on this big toe and I would have won. The end result is the same. I will end this wretch's life before you can lift a finger. And even if I were to lose my physical form, it is but a small setback. My consciousness shall endure. But by any means necessary and any medium available, I shall return and fulfill my destiny! Your fighting style, it is indeed the forms of Ishin art. But from your movements, I sense only hatred and arrogance, as well as a thinly veiled mania and despair. Really? You can tell all that just from his moves? As I've mentioned before, the forms of Ishin art convey the user's thoughts and feelings. Since the blade is currently possessing Aminoma Yuya's body, its movements express the innermost thoughts of the blade. If you ask me, the mania is probably due to your desperate, single-minded ambition. You believe I am your only hope. Are you trying to claim that I am helpless without you? On his deathbed, he passed to me all of Ishin Art's secrets. The little that you know barely scratches the surface. In that regard, why would I ever need your help? Because all of that is in the past. I've been wondering why you've not caused more trouble in all the years that you've been in Inazuma. If you are indeed a cursed blade that can possess its owner. Now that I've seen inside your mind, everything finally makes sense. You weren't biding your time. You were trapped. <clears throat> After all the time that's passed, you have grown weak. To the point that you are now unable to acquire a new host without making physical contact. Oh, that's right! I remember it now! Mr. Nagato had a habit of never touching his collectibles! Only when Mr. Nagato witnessed his wife's distress and decided to sell his collectibles, did you finally have an opportunity to reach out to Amino Yuya and make your escape. What of it? Well, that brings me to my second point. There's a despair in you that is so strong it threatens to overwhelm you. You were determined to fulfill your maker's ambition at whatever the cost. But this ambition is too grand and too heavy for you to bear. Each step you have taken has come at a great cost. I think you realized your limitations long ago. But the more you clenched your teeth and pressed forward, the greater your fear of losing everything you had achieved grew, and the more you wished to run from the truth. That's that poetic. That's them bars. That's what we call facts. But the way I see it, what began as an ambition has long since become a delusional fantasy. What would you know about any of this? I'm just one step away from achieving my goal! And you're about to be one step away from getting a pimp slap. Back up off Kazuwa. You returned to Inazuma to prove the unparalleled brilliance of Ishin art. But to make this arduous journey, you committed countless atrocities and showed a blatant disregard for human life. Even if you were to sever that divine light, is this truly the outcome that your maker would have desired? I don't know if he's coming of enemy or a foe, but Kaswa, have you been taught never to turn your back on an enemy? You. Sure, you inherited the secrets of Ishin art. 
but even as you made your journey to honor this legacy, you treated the ones who wielded you as mere tools to do your bidding. How could you possibly unleash the full potential of Ishin art when you act in perfect discordance with the principle of harmony between a blade and its bearer? Silence, you blabbering fool! I must achieve my goal. This was his life's dream, and the very purpose for which I was brought into being! I will concede that you are most perceptive. You see my predicament clearly. But you also underestimate my resolve. How can he see your resolve if you keep saying the same thing? I will achieve my goal. I will achieve my goal. Great. You gonna bring receipts or facts to, you know, um, to save your reputation here? To clap back at Kazuma? Because right now he's speaking facts. And you should face reality. Easy for you to say. Facing reality offers me nothing. I have no need of anything that would stand in my way. Not hesitation, not self-reflection, and certainly not your so-called reality. It's not so-called reality, it's called accountability. It is pointless to argue further, as descendant of the Kaidahara clan. If you wish to save this man, then offer me your body in exchange. How stubbornly you stick to your wayward path. One, ew, two, and if you try to fight me again, at least put on socks. I do not believe for a second that you can challenge the almighty Shogun in your current state. So let us make a bet, and I will put your strength to the test. What? Surely you're not planning to agree to his demands! Very well. Then find yourself some enemies with whom you wish to cross blades. A taste of my power will more than convince you. Hey, keep your friends close and, and your enemies closer. Once we have dealt with them, we shall proceed to Tenshukaku. And as for your end of the bargain, if you lose, you must release Aminoma Yuya from your control. I accept. I mean, yeah, it's risky, but Kazuha looks like one, he knows what he's doing. Two, he clearly has the upper hand in some imaginary way. But I believe Kazuha, he got this. This is the only way to save Amenoma Yuya. If we don't do this, he'll forever be the Blade's puppet. The Cursed Blade's strength is currently very weak, and I sense he's hesitating. This suggests his heart is still not completely devoid of honor. The power of the Tatarigami lies in intensifying existing obsessions. This is the reason Mr. Nagato and Amenoma Yuya fell prey to it. Since I don't have any similar kinds of obsessions, I should be able to put up some resistance for a while. But even so... Even if things take a turn for the worse, I still have you both here with me. We have a chance here to save an innocent victim. I am willing to accept the risks entailed. Your disdain for me betrays your woeful ignorance. I agreed to this bet because there are things I wish to learn, too. Now, take me in your hand. You can also learn to buy a pair of socks. I'm surprised sin is not getting in your toes. Okay. I felt a little dizzy at first, but 
only for a moment. It's all right. So far, this was as I expected. But I say, you feeling better? Um, stand up. If something feels off, let me know immediately. I will. Thank, Thank you. you. What should we do next? You got a plan there for us. Find some enemies. Although this visit has endured much turmoil, it probably hasn't experienced many real fights. If a blade built or Ishii Narn cannot enter a state of harmony between Glele Bearer, it cannot unleash its true power. If he wants to avoid reality, then we need to fight until he has no choice but to face it. He shouldn't last long on an intense combat situation. Wait a minute! Paimon remembers hearing about something from the Adventurers Guild. Since the Takasukasa clan abandoned that secret base, it's been held by Ronin ever since! Ah, alright. Please lead the way. What about Amanoma Yuya? What should we do with him? The Blade says he'll let Amanoma Yuya trail us silently. Although he hasn't regained his own consciousness yet, he is not in any immediate danger. Off topic, I don't know if this is like intentional or on purpose. Does anybody notice that the music is going in and out? Are we sure this is a good idea? It's a pretty treacherous journey! Okay, fine. Just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> 